Super, thank you. Welcome back, everyone. This is Robert at Custodian Files. Today is October 23, 2024. Let's just jump right on in. This red, right, and blue chopper, that's the Edison DWP, Department of Water and Power Edison chopper. You've seen this over and over and over. Uh, he comes in at the exact same air spot, uh, the uh, same part of the sky. These UAP, these fast movers, they just come off the ground. Uh, but uh, really why I'm showing you this is the phenomenon of uh, your autofocus malfunctioning. Uh, this doesn't happen a lot at maybe 3% three, three of the time. But it's very frustrating because everything's clear, the picture's clear. And then all of a sudden the autofocus just malfunctions. And I'll show you some other examples. So when you do see it, your camera is not broken. Uh, you're not doing anything wrong. It's just go figure. I mean, actually, you would assume if we're dealing with UFO technology, they're designed to be invisible, stealth, and you could assume that they could, um, they have the technology to uh, interfere with somebody's video or audio. So I guess that's to be expected. I mean, if, I'm sure we have that on our jets. So go 2,000 years in the future. Can you imagine what they could do? But I want to just point that out. Your camera is not broken. Okay, let's go next, please. Okay, super. Look at this from the MB in Belfast. Did you just see that in real time? How the autofocus just went offline and the dragon flew by? I got to tell you, uh, I've I, had to, I have to see this 25, 35 times before I accepted it as real. It's just uh, these things, you learn something new, what they're capable of. And it's like, no, I got to see it again. I got to see it again. Very common. So your camera, again, is not broken. Uh, essentially, it does not happen. I mean, I don't think you could actually do this with your smartphone on purpose if you wanted to. Uh, it just, they're too advanced. So this just, uh, again, there's the, the, the direct evidence right there, just clear. Uh, seconds, seconds before the dragon flies. How, how are they doing that? What is... What kind of technology is this? Just fascinating. Okay, super. Uh, let's go. And please remember, if you like what you see, please remember to like, subscribe, comment. I do need your support on this. Uh, there's power in numbers. And disclosure, you and I are going to make disclosure happen. It's uh, a team effort. Let's go forward. Here's one more amazing one. Alex in Florida. Thank you again, Alex. I think I showed this before. He's just sitting at a traffic light recording an airplane and the camera is just freaking out. He is not shaking the camera. The camera is just flipping out the autofocus. It's almost as if the camera is being hacked and it's actually putting up a really good fight, which I find that amazing. You know, our mathematics versus their mathematics. We, we don't have a chance, but it looks like that camera was really putting up a fight trying to resist the hacking. But there, there you go. So when you see it happen, yeah, just keep, keep the video because that's data too. This is all evidence. This is data. It is what it is. It's going to happen. Uh, put that in a separate file. You can label it shaking or blurry video, whatever you want to call it. But uh, there's, there it is. It could be a little frightening too when you see that happen in real uh, Alex was like, whoa, what is going on here? I totally get it. Okay, let's go to the next. Super. Okay, look at this from 2022. So as you can tell, I'm recording all this activity from my balcony. You can use the mountain silhouettes as a reference point. It's the uh, same, same scenario. These choppers come in, the Black Hawks, they get tagged over the airspace. Really clear, oh, extremely predictable. Um, this is, I, I, if you're new, I get it. This is, this is really hard to interpret what you are seeing. Anyone can do this themselves. You see a helicopter, take out your cell phone, record landscape for 30 seconds, look for a dot. All right, I've slowed these videos down to 12%. It, it's going to be very hard to see in the beginning, but your eyes do adjust quickly 
And in this case, there's uh, two, two dragons here. I call them dragons because I thought they were dragonflies. Uh, in reality, these UFO fast movers look nothing like dragonflies. But seven years ago, that's what I thought they were. So again, it's uh, very predictable. I can't stress enough where and when they can be. Uh, they're all over YouTube, uh, Blue Angels, Thunderbirds. Real straightforward. If you record your own video, you can send it to me, custodianfile at gmail. I'll review it and I'll post it if you want. Pretty straightforward. Hey, okay, let's go to the next. Okay, super. I wanted to go back a year, just review this again. This was uh, published by the uh, by the Pentagon on um, four uh, nineteen twenty three, about a year and a half ago, and they're basically characteristics of these UAPs and uh, sure enough uh, their speed especially with the orbs referring to the orbs uh, their speed being Mach 2 uh, stationary to Mach 2 so in other words they're telling you from, from 0 to Mach 2 which is kind of interesting here um, Mach 2 being 1700 uh, it's really closer to 2000 uh, a good friend of mine uh, in the Air Force retired gentleman uh, Major George, um, he goes to these hearings. He he was he's he's an OG. He was there there in in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. His job was to report to the generals every day the newest UFO information in the world. Um, and that's this is where I got this information. He, um, he told me that um, we had a operation 1950 to 1970 to shoot down a UFO at any cost in the world, at any cost. And um, that he was later told around 1972 that we lost, the campaign was a failure and we lost a jet every day in the world for 20 years. That never got out, nobody knows. And nobody's ever gonna volunteer that information. But uh, fortunately, it came across me, and I'm going to put it out there. When I, when I get good information, I'm going to share it with you. I told me some other better stuff, too. Better, I mean, better than that, but I won't even bring it up. So on this chart, look at the, uh, the radar, X-Ban. <laughs> so the Pentagon, uh, he told me, uh, by the way, uh, Major George, he told me that day when they posted this chart, he was going to the uh, second part of the uh, Congress hearings, which is top secret. He, he told me that they're, they're, they were watching my videos on that day. That's kind of funny. I, you know, I smiled when I heard that. So yeah, that's, it's not a coincidence. Uh, the Mach 2 and the X-Bands, um, you know, they're using my data, which is fine. It's open source. It's for everyone. So yeah, it's all over the world. Uh, no matter what you kind of research you do, you can copy my videos, put it out there. It's for humanity. It's to advance humanity. Okay, if you have any questions, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, custodian file at gmail. I do need your support. I'll answer your questions to the best of my ability. Let's go forward. There you go, from uh, 2022, Black Hawk coming in, getting tagged. Look at this, uh, timeline, 13 seconds. Comes right off the ground, and it triggers the uh, K-Band. Yeah, even though the, the uh, government uh, published the X-Band, it's really K-Band, then X-Band. It's, it's, it's something like 70% uh, K-Band and 30% X-Band. Uh, you know, they're being truthful. At least they volunteer that x-ray, that uh, radar is being triggered. I mean, I got to give them credit on that. They didn't have to volunteer that part. Uh, but anyway, here's the video. That's going to happen 8% of the time. It will trigger your radar detector. I have it attached to my tripod. Any car radar detector, 10, 20, 30 years old, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Uh, and I do just hook up a power source. I have mine plugged into 110. It's on my balcony. I just plug it in and 8% of the time. And also 8% of the time, it will trigger a clicking sound on your on your recorder. It's amazing. And I think what's going on now, as I just mentioned, that clicking sound is actually the X and K band spectrum being recorded by your incredibly advanced microphone on your smartphone. 
So the smartphone can actually hear, theoretically can hear X and K band RF and it's being re recorded as a click, 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 click. So amazing. These smartphones are a lot smarter than we give them credit for. Super amazing. I think that's what's going on. Okay, well, that will do it for today. If you like what you see, again, please remember to like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for all your support. Finally getting the attention I think these uh, UFOs deserve. I know it's super hard. It's just impossible to believe that something this small is right in front of us. But you know what? You live and learn. And then uh, five years from now, we'll say, oh, this is common knowledge. Uh, you got anything new, Robert? Hopefully I will in five years. I'll have something new here. I probably will, by the way. Okay, thank you again. This is Robert at Custodian File. Have a good day. Bye-bye.